Good evening, everyone. I hope, oh boy, I forgot to turn the TV off because I wasn't planning to make a video. Wait a minute, I got I got I just put some lipstick on. I got to turn my television down. I am watching Meech and Monica. They are on a cruise, and it's their 25th anniversary. I meant to tell y'all about her about them before because they're trying to get to I think it's 35,000 um subscribers or something like that before the year is out. And so happy anniversary to Meech and Monica. I think they're such a sweet couple. They have three children. They make good videos. I watch them all the time. And um uh, and I especially enjoyed the cruise, though. That was a, that was really a good um, uh, video. Keep up the good work, guys. Anyway, how y'all doing today? I haven't been up here. I was trying to make a recording today when I went out. Because I went to, let me take this gum out. I went to Walmart today, as planned. And, um... I went to Walmart and I went to ShopRite. I went to both of them. And I returned my bottles. And guess what? I just returned the bottles, not the cans. Now, the cans are still over here. I still got a box of cans right over here. But I took the bag of bottles. I got some mail over here, too. The junk mail that I took out the box. See, I still got my cans over here. And a few, str you know, straggler bottles. But the... The garbage bag that I had, I had it already full, filled up, and I couldn't get any more bottles in it. And do you know that I had $5.20 out of that one bag? I said, oh, no, no more sitting the bottles in the cans on the streets. No more giving them away. I'm taking them back myself. And so I had taken... um. My ride, you know, to the, uh, I went to, the, had them drop me off at shop, right? And then I rode over to Walmart, you know, because it's all right there together. Just about two minutes it takes me on my scooter to get from one, from point A to point B. And so I go to Walmart because I had the pants that I wanted to take back. I thought those pants cost more than that. They said it was $7 and I think she said it was seven dollars and forty nine cents or eighty nine cents, something like that. It was less than eight dollars. I said, "Oh my goodness!" I thought I was gonna get at least ten dollars back, but anyway, I just returned them because they was too tight. They was really too tight. I should have taken that other pair back too because I haven't worn them. They're like leggings, but you know, I probably wear them around the house or. As long as I'm sitting down, I'll wear them, you know, like if I'm going out or something like that. But I ain't going to be standing up on with them. No way, Jose. And so I figured, okay, I took my bottles back to the store. And my ride cost me $10. $5 there, $5 back. So I paid for one ride with that $5 that I got for the bottles. And just like I was telling my granddaughter, because she said she gives hers away too, you know, because she came over yesterday. She came over for lunch or something, I think. Yeah, she came over to um, heat her, her lunch up in my microwave. And so she stayed for a while, her whole lunch hour. And she was telling me that she too was giving her bottles away. I said, you got children. You save the bottles. I put, I mean, save the money from the bottle. Take the bottles back yourself. Because sometimes, you know, even kids will feed that machine for you. She's got a 12-year-old. He could definitely feed the machine, while, you know, just as long as he don't do like I did before. A long time ago, left the ticket in there. And by, by the time I remembered, I hadn't taken the ticket, came back out there, somebody had got the ticket. I don't think it was no more than about a, maybe 20, I don't know, 90 cents, I think it was. 90 or a hundred and a dollar ninety, one of those. But that's been, a, you know, a long time ago because I haven't taken no bottles back in. Oh, Lord, how many years has it been? And so I said, what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah. This is change right here, y'all. And so I said, I told my granddaughter, I said, whenever you, you know, get your bottles and take your bottles back, just put them in a dish or something, you know, like a jar or something by themselves, you know, put just to see how much you could save. 
for that one month. Because, you know, they're 10 cents. You get 10 cents per bottle now. I don't know about the cans. I don't know if it's the same thing with the cans or not. I'm not sure. Because I'm just getting into this thing. Because I said, uh-uh, no more. I said, I'm going to do this myself. And, you know, and I'll be taking my ride, you know, especially out to uh, shop right and, 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 you know, places that uh, uh, you can redeem your bottles right there. <coughs> As a matter of fact, I saw one guy there. He had, I know he had to have it about 50 or $60 worth because he had those great big, big, there's money, there's money in it. Yeah. If some people get up early in the morning, that's what I usually do. I put them out, in the, you know, sort of early, maybe around 8.30 or 9 o'clock. But for the last two times, I had put them out there one day. Nobody came, and then I think it had rained. Then I said, okay, I'm going to put them back. I'll take and put them out there again the next day. Put them out there the next day. And after a certain amount of time goes by and nobody has picked them up, I bring them back in the house, not in the house. Most of the time, I would leave them on the porch, on my bench or something. And then I said, uh-uh, I'm going to take them back myself. And that's, I'm so glad I did. And then next week, whenever I go again, I got my cans over there. She ready. And then all my bottles are going to go. I don't know how much. It's, it's exciting. I don't know how much I'm going to save. But anyway, this is my little change jar, and I got a penny jar, too, somewhere. Matter of fact, I got a penny here I got to put in my... I keep them separate. I want to put the uh, silver in with the pennies. So I got the pennies in a separate place, and then I got my... Yeah, in there. That's one way of saving, y'all. Why don't you try that? Save your change. When you come home after going shopping... Empty your purse, dump your change right in here, unless you need some change. You know, sometimes you might need a little change. But I got out of the habit of carrying change because it's heavy. It's very heavy to carry in your purse. And then at that time, I was carrying uh, big purses, but you, you, you already see, you see that I've graduated from these big purses. As a matter of fact, I want to. I keep saying I'm having tag sale. I got some purses I want to put out there and, and just practically give them away. Because they're too big. And I like something that's going to fit close to my body. You know, like a flat, a flat purse. You know, something almost like a cloth bag. I thought of making a, a crochet a bag that I had seen on. Let uh, me get this gum on my hand because it's sticking to my hand. But I'm going to put, I'm going to save it. Because <laughs> I ain't been too long putting it in there. And I got a few chips in here. I made a, when I went to the store today, I got me some lightly salted chips. I got me some uh, muffins, chocolate chip that I get from all these chocolate chip muffins. And then I got me some chips and some French onion dips to go with my chips. I was doing so good. I'm all right as long as I stay out the store. But once they get me in the store, I'm like, it's like I've lost it. I no longer have, control. I have no control over myself after that. Once you walk across that threshold, that electric, electric door opens. That electronic door opens. Come on in. This is what they're telling you. You ain't even got to open the door. I'm going to open it for you. Here we go. Here we come. Here come the suckers. <laughs> and I'm the biggest sucker of all, y'all, I tell you. Uh, once I get in that door, it's like I lost my head or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. I ain't the only one, though. Y'all know you do the same thing. And you be in the store. You ain't intended to buy that crap. A whole lot of stuff that you buy, but you end up with it. And you come home and you and oh, my goodness, why did I buy that? And I was watching uh, Anthony. He bought all this stuff, but I can understand him, though, because he's had a... <laughs> I can understand why he would buy a whole bunch of stuff, because he's far away, I guess, from a, a store where he's camping at. You know, it's like a, a permanent... I think he said it's a permanent campground or a temporary campground or something like that. Anyway, he could stay there for a while, you know, without having to move around so much. 
And he went to the store, and my goodness, I said, this is ridiculous. Take that stuff, put that, get that. <laughs> I wanted to tell him, you don't need all that. you just one person. <laughs> but I know the feeling because I do the same thing. Oh, Lord, look at here. I'm getting ready to go to bed, y'all. I'll tell you the truth. It's, uh, let's see what time it is. It's about 11, quarter to 11, I think. Yeah, quarter to 11. And I'm getting ready to go to bed. I may go downtown. Might just go down there. But I don't know if the uh, eyeglass place is open on Saturday. I got to check before I go. Yeah. I don't have any plans for the weekend. So I just might go downtown. Just get me some. I got to get some gum. And I got to get some. Um, oh, what do you call those things? Little patches. I want to I wanna get some of those patches. I think you put them on your toe, cause you know I'm still having. I'm trying to cure my toes. That's what I'm trying to do, and I want to get me a little basin because I threw the basin. You, know, I had a, a dish pan that I was soaking my feet in, and so I want to get another one of those. I didn't think of that today when I was at Walmart, cause I could have gotten it at Walmart. But I came home. My my poor scooter was loaded down. I didn't buy no water. I got to go get this some water probably next week. I had my backpack. My backpack right there was full. I had the size of the backpack full. You know, the little pockets that people usually put water in. Well, I had can in there. And I had tuna fish. I still bought me four, you know, the four pack of tuna fish. I forgot how much they were at Walmart. I forgot. But they were, it's cheaper to buy that four pack. I like the albacore. And so stick that in there, and then I had a a shopping bag sitting down, you know, where I usually have my water on the foot on the uh, footrest of the foot uh, board, and so I had a shopping bag full of stuff in there. I bought more turkey wings and more. I bought chicken wings, something I haven't bought since that time. I told you I had I had um, seen those. Um, veins or something coming out the top of the chicken wing but i read it and they said that these were free range chickens you know they were roaming around i guess eating grass or pecking up chicken eat anything i was brought up on the farm so i know i seen chicken eat a snake uh-oh i dropped a piece of my gun i had two oh shoot i gotta find that because you don't want to get that stuck in the rug like I said, there's enough stuff in here to, on this road to make dinner, I tell you. But, um, excuse me, y'all, lost my train of thought. I forgot what I was talking about. I guess, you know, we probably didn't need to be said anyway. But anyway, I said I was getting ready to go to bed, take me a little nap, because I might take a ride out tomorrow. Maybe, I, it might be better if I go to, uh, I'm trying to think, did I ask that dollar store, did they have those dish pans before? It was something that I had went to the dollar store. I had went to, I thought I had, I thought I wasn't recording y'all. Because you know what? I was trying to record when I went, when I was at Walmart. Where's my phone? That same thing, Analyze Your Storage came up. I'm up there just a talking, just a talking, just a talking. And <laughs> the thing just black told me I ain't got no Anna, I ain't got no storage or some old blase. So I'm on the other phone, the one I called myself clearing the storage up on. But I thought my granddaughter had cleared storage up on this one for me yesterday. But apparently not because I, it went blank on me. Sure did. Anyway, I enjoyed my little outing today. I was out for a long time. I was out for about three hours. And usually, I, I'm not, I don't know more than about, you know, when I go to go shopping like that by myself, and I'm normally out about two hours max, you know, counting the time that I leave from home. I'm usually back home within two hours. But if I go to the grocery store or something over here, hey, I'm back home in an hour. Less than an hour. That's all. That's how close it is to me. Ah, uh, Meech and Monica. This is Meech and Monica, y'all. It's still on. They're eating something. I've been watching them for... Let me change uh, change my channel. Because I've been watching them for quite a while now. 
But that was really fun, though, to watch them go on a cruise. It was their first cruise. Uh, they've been married for 25 years. Wow. Well, I was married for 29, so I was married for a long time. And my sister was married for, ooh, she was married long as her. She's still married, as a matter of fact. But her and her husband, you know, they, they still uh, might as well be married. <laughs> well, they are married. <laughs> oh, yeah. So how y'all doing? How's the AAG team doing tonight? Oh, excuse me. I just got through eating some chips and some dip, yo. Then I had a cup of coffee. I bought me, finally got me some hazelnut coffee. And it was so good. I feel like I want to have another cup. You know, because I drank decaf, so, you know, 97% decaf. Free. Is that, did I say that right? I think they said it's, it's decaffeinated. 97% decaffeinated. I think that's the way it goes. It's not your real, you know, like, oh, Maxwell House, I have me jack jittery, like, you know, I don't be shaking and carrying on like that, but I be, like, feeling nervous, you know. That's the way I used to feel. I ain't drank no Maxwell House in so long. You know, the kind that you percolate, that you put in your little percolator and stuff like that years ago. Remember the percolator? Everybody had to have a percolating car. Uh, first it started with the electric pot per percolator, and then you had the, no, wait a minute. It started with the percolator that you put on your burner. Remember those little pots? I think you might still be able to buy those. I'm not sure. You know, they had the little um, thing that you put in there, and you put the coffee in that, and you had the water in the bottom, I mean the bottom, and then you, you know, put the little coffee pot on top of the stove, and then it starts to perk. Bloop, 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 bloop. First thing you know, you got a cup of coffee, okay? I wonder, do they still make those? I know they make something similar that you can get a hot pot. As a matter of fact, I was going to get one of those little hot plates, you know, for just to keep my coffee hot while I'm drinking it. Because a lot of times, you know, I'm sitting up here, I get carried away playing games or I'm crocheting or something like that. And I saw my, my coffee will end up getting, you know, warm or even cold for me, as a matter of fact. And I end up having to put it back in the microwave to heat it up again. So I thought about getting a little hot plate. I guess you call it a little hot plate that you just set your cup of coffee on and it, and it keeps your coffee uh, hot. They got them on, on uh, Amazon. But I'm not giving Amazon no more money this month. Hello? I don't think. Should I? <laughs> nope. Because I have a tendency. That's what I do by ordering at night. But usually it's way later. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning or something like that. I be ordering. I don't know what gets into me at that time of the morning. But I be up. Can't sleep. I go to Amazon to see, what, sometimes I just be looking for one specific thing and end up something, of course, they're going to keep showing you stuff. And one another shower curtain. Dare I go in there again and look for a shower curtain. Oh, that was so frustrating. But it's time for that I have a new, that I get another one. Because the one I've got, I've had it for, oh, I don't know how many years now. And I, I just want to change up. I want to switch up my bathroom and change my bathroom before Thanksgiving because I'm having, I think I'm cooking Thanksgiving. Unless everybody's going down south. Well, I haven't decided yet. But anyway, I'm going to get ready to hang up the video, y'all. And I got another, let's see, I, I promised myself I was going to do one row a day for my crochet. So I did do one row, but if I'm up, if, I, if I'm not sleepy yet, <clears throat> I might do another one. You know, just to do the string part. You know, the how to, let me show you. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Show you what I'm working with. See these little strings? I'm gonna, I'm not gonna cut them off, even though I can. I can cut these off and I still wouldn't have to worry about them, you know, unraveling. But I'm not. I'm going to sew them in. That's what I'm going to do. And so I did 
when I say I did a row, this is what I mean. This is the row. See that row doesn't have any strings? What is it? I missed one. Oh, Lord, I told a story. I'm sorry. I, I sorry I told a story, Lord. And this one is done. See? See how different the difference how different it looked? And the ones that still got the string on. So I might I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm feeling pretty good right now though. <clears throat> I said if I'm too hyped up, I ain't gonna be able to sleep at all. So I'm gonna stay up here for a minute. I might have another cup of coffee. Who knows? I might do something. I had a muffin too. That muffin was so darn good. I want another one. But dare I do it? Nope. Not tonight. And I bought these big, let me show you these big rolls. I haven't bought these in a long time. And they're usually kind of gooey inside. Because, they, you know, everywhere I went, they didn't have my brioche. So I ended up getting these big bad boys, which I have bought before. But I think I'm going to have to toast the inside or take part of that inside out. You know, because it's too much. Too gooey. Too gooey and too chewy. I got another box to get rid of. Amazon. <sighs> but anyway, y'all. I hopefully when I come back, I'll have a better video to uh, show y'all. Have you? I'll give you something interesting when I come back. I promise you, if you come back, I promise you. And I promised the yellow band down that I was gonna show him or her. He, I think it's a him. I was gonna show him the game that I, at least uh, me. I'll show him one of the games that I play. He wants to see me play game. So, I'll do that for him. And I still can't go live because I wanted to go live tonight on, on my computer. That Malia, oh, Obama's daughter, look at her. She has grown up to, I believe she's just as tall as her dad. She looks good though. She, she could be a model actually. I'm like, look at this. That's her right there. I wouldn't care. That, I don't know if I would wear that or not, but it looks good on her. Like they say, you know, everybody can't wear everything. Everybody can't wear the hot pants. Everybody can't wear a miniskirt. And everybody can't wear these leggings. But I clear I love the leggings. I, I really do, even though they show every lump and every bump you got that I got, should I say. Speak for myself. And, uh, but I will wear them. Oh, yeah. I will wear them as long as I'm sitting down, spreading all over the place. And I try not to get up when I, <laughs> you know, I be on my scooter. I try not to get up so nobody can see every lump and every bump. The only thing they can see is, my goodness, she sure is spreading out there on that scooter. But I could care less as long as I'm sitting down. And so... Like I said, I'm going to take it easy tonight and relax, and I might do a little bit more crocheting. And I might find something good on television, something besides Trump and, you know, uh, what's it, Kamala Harris. I mean, enough is enough already. And I've watched they keep showing the same thing over and over on YouTube. I'm talking about YouTube because, you know, that's where I be at. I be on YouTube. And then I got to try to finish and catch up on my own channel. Answer my own. I got to answer my own um, comments. I don't have that many comments. But I did one today, I think. I did one. I did, I did two. One or two uh comments on some page, you know, on one of my, vid two of my videos. And then once I get started, it don't take long at all. And on that note, I'll see y'all again soon. I go with love. Mm, got stuck. <laughs> see you again soon. <laughs>